We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning, welcome to Daily Journal News Break, sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Today's Tuesday, October 2nd, and I'm your host, Elizabeth Walters. We're going to take a look at today's top news and sports stories across Northeast Mississippi, but first, a look at your weather forecast. Today, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds with a high of 87 and tonight's low around 69. And over the next three days on Wednesday, we'll have sunny skies with a high of 89 and a low of 69. Thursday, mostly sunny with a high of 89 and a low of 69. And on Friday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 88 and a low of 68. Here's a look at today's top headlines. A Renzi man is now charged with capital murder in the shooting death of Mississippi Highway Patrol Trooper Josh Smith. Troy Anthony Eaton appeared before Judge John Gregory and was charged with one count of capital murder and one count of attempted murder. No bond was set. Eaton surrendered to authorities five hours after Smith was pronounced dead early Sunday in Hatchie Bottom near the Alcorn Tippa County line. The circumstances of the shooting are still unclear and people who know both Eaton and Smith said they were shocked that the tragedy occurred. The Mississippi Highway Patrol has yet to release details on what transpired at Hatchie Bottom and the investigation is ongoing. And just hours after news broke that Attorney General Jim Hood will announce his candidacy for governor on Wednesday, Hood spoke to the Lee County Democrats. Hood is currently the state's only Democrat elected to the statewide post, and he hinted at his plans to run for governor next year, but said that he'll say more during a Wednesday morning event in his hometown of Houston. Other speakers were less reserved with scattered references to Hood as the next governor of Mississippi. Hood stayed away from any attacks aimed at his political opponents and stayed focused on what he described as values that led him to identify as a Democrat. Mississippi Today first reported that Hood would have a two-day speaking event traveling across the state announcing his candidacy, but Hood has since changed that to just the Wednesday morning event in Houston so he can attend the funerals of the two Brookhaven officers killed over the weekend. Hood's event in Houston is set to begin at 9 a.m. Wednesday. And there's still plenty of work to be done over the next month as Operation Mississippi Gratitude continues to collect items to send to the 155th Armored Brigade Combat Team in Kuwait. Mike Pettigrew, American Legion Post 49 commander, said the goal is to put 4,000 packages together, but they currently do not have 4,000 of anything. Pettigrew wants a baseline of things to put in the boxes, including toiletries, deodorant, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, and toilet paper at a minimum. The community and businesses have responded well, and volunteers will begin to put together the boxes on Saturday. Pettigrew estimates about 400 care boxes can be put together for now. The biggest expense is getting the U.S. Postal Service to deliver the boxes to New Jersey, where they'll be shipped to Kuwait. While talks are ongoing with USPS officials with the hope of lowering the rate for now, the approximate cost per box is $18. And a complete list of items is on the American Legion Post 49's Facebook page and a GoFundMe page and an account at Create has been set up to help raise funds. And in sports, in three games at quarterback for the Hilltoppers, senior Jalen May is showing out and has Houston rolling. May was part of a quarterback battle in spring and ended up serving in other positions earlier this season, but after injuries at quarterback, he was moved to the position and has since passed for 222 yards and two touchdowns, and even more impressively, has 705 yards and 14 touchdowns on the ground. In the last few games, he's gone over 250 rushing yards. And just how impressive is he? He had 352 offensive yards and seven touchdowns just in last week's Division 4 3A win over Choctaw County. The Toppers have seven players right now that are averaging over eight yards per carry, and the team as a whole is averaging 350 rushing yards per game and have scored 23 touchdowns on the ground. Houston is 5-1 and one on the year and travels to Hatley for another division showdown Friday night. And that does it for News Break on this Tuesday. Don't forget that this show is one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal that gets you news off the page and on the go. Each story discussed today on News Break can be found in your Daily Journal or online at djournal.com, where you can find a new episode of News Break each weekday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Walters. Have a great day.